Oh. But that's just another option. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. We're on TV. Hold that thought, Russ. <laughs> Football season kicks off tonight. What are you? What are you guys doing down we're there? We're just eating, we're like eating and eating sifting the food. So I ate out of this one. You there is a lot of No, no, no. Here. I ate out of this one. Okay. okay. So that one's for the other dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we Back go. Back to you, Nina. Well, it's tailgating season. The Bush's Markets has all this food that you can just show up and take. Uh, Chef Russ Palmer from Bush's is here. He's actually going to show us a recipe on how to make this salsa verde, mm. which is so a beautiful exciting. green yeah. color salsa. And uh, look at all this good stuff that goes into it. Uh, yeah. Russ, welcome, first of all. Nice to, be, nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Thanks Appreciate for bringing you, us Russ. all these treats. Yeah, can I just yeah, comment? This is one heck of a yeah. display. Yeah, yeah this, this, is, is, right. this is great. We're, we're tailgating, so we got mm -hmm. The taco plethora. bar is an awesome tailgate idea, too, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. But yeah, let's make this salsa verde. Yeah, absolutely. So the salsa verde is is green salsa made with tomatillas, which is a, a Mexican tomato, a husk tomato in the wow. nightshade family. No way, it's yep. in a husk? Yeah, it's in a oh. husk. And, I've uh, never seen that before. They're, they're actually very easy to grow in your wow. garden, and uh, they have a citrus-like flavor. Nina, did you know that was in a husk? I did not. Right? <laughs> right? We take all of those tomatillas and put it on a pan right here. we got some wow. poblano peppers, right? We're just kind of putting this. I want to show you just how simple this really is. It's not difficult at all. Either. You're not cutting them or nothing. No, you're just going to put them in the pan like that. I cut my garlic like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and I lay that down right there. And here's my onions, right? Mm -hmm. So basically at this point. So it's point, all going into this pan. You're gonna I'm just going to hold this up yeah, so the absolutely. camera get it. And you can put a little bit of olive oil um, just to kind of help conduct the heat. Um, and then roast it in the oven. This is what you can do. You just kind of take it and throw it in. Wow. And, you know. That's it. But that's, that's, that's. Wow, the, that's so simple. That's, I love that. It's just like this. So we've got some good color here. Uh, the garlic, basically, it just squeezes right out of its pods. Once and these are the same thing done. I see that. This is the garlic you, and the pops right out. everything done. Wow, pops right yeah. out. And Very then nice. You're going to we take. <laughs> The seeds out of this right here, right? Okay. And we, and we pop. You if you have, a, if you have hot, a few right? seeds, it's okay. And you can peel some of the skin off too. But you're really just kind of popping this stuff all in here. And I, you just I, cooked it to soften it up. Yeah, you roast it so that the skins from the peppers are starting to come away mm -hmm. so that you can peel that and get the skins off Easy, and, the, yeah. and the seeds out. Wow. Nice. Is it about a 20-minute 350 situation? Right, so it's okay. about 425, so pretty oh, hot. Oh, 425, yeah. okay. And then you're roasting it, um, getting this kind of product right here. Here's our beautiful tomatillo. Oh, what happened to wow. the tomatoes? Yeah. yeah. Almost transparent. And you just pop it in here. You can add a little more olive oil. Okay. You add your salami. Cilantro, which is, that's a bunch of cilantro. Yeah. And then you squeeze some lime juice in here. And you can squeeze as much or as little lime juice as you like. It just depends on how acidic you like. You go a little bit of salt, pop, and some pepper, like that. And then. This is awesome. It, it just is. looks so easy. But, it smells you know, so good. I know. This is not difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought about this. I make this at home all the time, and I grow tomatillas in my garden. This is that's your finished product over there with wow. your taco mm -hmm. bar. So and, let's, let's uh, talk about the taco bar while we're uh, in this neighborhood, if yeah. you want to. So this is a fun way when you have a party. You set up, um, I guess you, you have your taco shells set up sure. nicely there. And then yeah. what kind of, first of all, what kind of meat or proteins do you have? And yeah, what do you put on so them? I selected carnitas, pork, and pulled chicken. Um, you can find these items all at Bush's all ready to go for you, mm. so you don't have to do them at home. Like if you're making pulled pork at home, it's going to take you four hours. Yeah, we're not yeah, doing right. that. No, no, we're not doing we're that. Not we, have, that. No. we have stuff. We have stuff available. We have all of these uh, accompaniments here. Pickled all right, I'm going to get onions. in on the accompaniment. <laughs> Salt, pico de gallo, avocado. What kind of shells are those? Those are Dorito tacos. Oh, so what? I do like me some Dorito tacos. My man. So, um, <laughs> nice. But you can use whatever you want for your tailgate. And if you are up. going to, uh, like, uh, you know, a stadium, yeah. this looks like a very manageable situation yeah. to pull out uh, mm -hmm. 
um, out of the back of your car. Yeah, you can, yeah? you can really wow some people. Mm -hmm. Here's really the good can. thing. You said you can get all that over at Bush's, right? Yep. So you can just get it all on the way to the tailgate, Yep. set up right there and be ready to go. You sure can. You, you really do. And, and you can you can even buy gloves, you know, if you're working with right. gloves and have some utensils That's or something key, like that. Yeah. yeah, you know, you want to get in there and set it up, make it easy for yourself. Um, before you, we have to go, oh, let's just talk gross. about what's happening at Bush's. So Bush's, yeah. a bunch of locations. 16 stores, Metro Detroit. And um, uh, you got chicken wings and yeah. I know you've got desserts coming out, new desserts. That's right. So this is just a small uh, showcase of some of our items at Bush's. Well, you you wouldn't believe the, the amount of ingredients and, and products that we make at Bush's, but we have all of our fall items coming out next week. Super excited. So oh, awesome. man, this is so nice. Well, thank you for bringing us all these treats. Yeah, amazing. Good job, uh, Jeff Russ. Thanks for having Great me, job, man. Jeff Russ. To find the Bush's location, you visit bushes.com. There we go, and we'll be right back. Mm -mm 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 -mm.